Hi everybody, this is Michelle from Half the National Average and I'm coming to you with habit hack number 51 on May 11th. So I'm right on track so far. Um, I'm not counting any chickens before they hatch, but uh, so far so good, a third way through. So habit hack number 51 is watch your fascia. Watch your fascia. Okay, so first of all, what's a fascia? Um, I wrote down the definition because I don't want to get it wrong. It's a band or sheet of connective tissue that is beneath the skin. It attaches and stabilizes and closes and separates the muscles and internal organs. So when I went to go see Nelson, I had to go see him uh, back to back. And um, that happens sometimes when I either wait too long or I hurt myself bad or I mostly when I wait too long. So what he described, so the fascia is the connective kind of band of, t of uh, tissue muscle uh, that covers your muscles and holds everything in. And so um, my initial injury was actually in my legs but I kind of ignored it, of course, because, well, because of quarantine, it wasn't really my fault. And um, for those of you who are doing different things, you're using different muscles, you're, d during this quarantine, you know, you're, some people are maybe slouching more because you're sitting watching TV more, whatever, lots of those. So for me, uh, for, and for a lot of you actually, you're doing different types of workouts if you're trying to do your workout routine beforehand and now you're a little bit less uh, well-rounded you might be damaging or you could hurt or injure some of that the tissue so in my legs because they were being overused eventually that fascia that covers your whole skin um if there's a knot at the bottom it can tug and it'll affect the muscles above you know your back your neck and at one point i couldn't even turn my neck i was like ah and so the way I described it to him, because I was like, wait a minute. So it's like a big blanket of skin. And he's like, no, oh, not skin. It's not skin. It's underneath the skin. So I was like, but it's like a big blanket, right? And so he's like, okay, yeah. So the way I want to describe it to you guys is think of your bed and let's say you get a little puppy and he's sleeping at the foot of your bed and it doesn't really bother you right because he's little and you're sleeping but as the puppy gets bigger and he's moving and pulling that blanket even though the puppy's at the foot of the bed he's starting to pull your blankets off or making it uncomfortable for you and so of course Tio this is for you um so this is you with your puppy sleeping on the bed and what happens is even though it's at the foot, it can affect all of the fascia of your blanket. So that's me, right? Even though it was in my calf and my, my legs, it was hurting because as it gets bigger, right? It's still pulling that fascia down and affecting other areas. And it for, first it started off in my lower back and then it went all the way up into my neck. Well, usually it sits in my rhomboids, right side, and then it goes and ends up going where it can't adjust anymore. And then that's like the sticking point. Fascia. Tio, you like my, if you need lessons, by the way, Tio, I can, I'd be more than happy to help you. Um, he's like an amazing artist. Tio is drawing if you want to see him. Okay, so fascia. So what does that have to do with habit hack number 51? Um, today was the very first day, thank you Dr. Nelson, that I woke up and I was like, zero pain. Now, that did not happen overnight. That happened with uh, not just going, I mean I was stretching before I went to Dr. Nelson, but I couldn't figure out where it was that I needed to work, where my trigger points were, what, you know, like what did I hurt? Um, and you know, a good chiropractor, uh, Dr. Nelson is a little bit more than, I mean, he is a chiropractor, but he's also a uh, fully certified active release therapist. And so they can usually look at you and be like, ah, oh, that, 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 that. So um, took stretching. Uh, I continued to work out, but a lot less than what I could. And then um, also took his advice of where I stretch, was stretching my psoas a lot. I was stretching my rhomboids a lot. I was using a trigger ball and uh, stretching out my quads, my hamstrings, and my calves. And today was the first day. So what does it have to do with our habit hack? 
it's long term. If you're going to get results kind of the correct way, a habit hack is a lot like a foxtrot. It's slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. So you're slow, slow, feel like I'm not doing anything, I'm not doing anything, and then all of a sudden you get a result, result, and then you go back to slow again. And so when you're getting that result, it's like the puppy growing big. If you're not paying attention to the fascia of your life, you could actually be displacing important things. So that's why I'm always saying, when you begin your 15 minutes, right? Your 15 minutes of habit isn't really, it's like a puppy on the foot of the bed. It shouldn't be displacing anything. But as you get better, and as you get more into it, and as you're practicing more, you're gonna practice more, you're gonna start including intensity and including frequency because you're gonna start getting better, right? That quick, quick gets you excited. Um, and then sometimes, right, you're like, ah, I can't move, and then slow again. Sometimes you have to go backwards to go forward. And so um, whatever your habit hack is, realize that it's part of your whole whole life the fascia of i was gonna try to do like describe a life as a fascia you know as in a big blanket and every habit that you put on that blanket as that habit gets bigger it is going to affect other areas of your blanket facial life your facial life i'm making stuff up left and right but your life of a fascia i don't know somebody come up with something but um but the reason why that's important is because you don't want it to kind of the, your range of motion when you're when your body is being affected by something far up you know you have this one little hurt and then pretty you, your range of motion in your neck which is like a pretty important thing um is hindered well that can happen with a habit if it's starting to affect the range of motion of something important like your kids or your spouse significant other your job so you can't let that happen but if it's displacing something non-essential like TV, let's say, or um, social media of watching habit hacks or, um, you know, things that are just non-essential, don't worry about it. But it does take constant kind of monitoring, just like your body. It takes constant monitoring and you don't want a quick, easy fix. Like a lot of times we're like, we'll just stop it because that's the quick, easy fix. That's like taking aspirin for pain. Pretty soon it's one aspirin, then it's two aspirins, then it's five aspirins. Uh, monitor your body, take care of the maintenance of it so you can continue your habit. And then um, if you need to adjust the time, the, the focus, the frequency, the intensity, whatever, do that. But if it's something that you're really, really trying to do as a skill, then you're just gonna constantly have to monitor it because again, the fascia, when it sits on top of the fascia of your life, it's gonna affect something else eventually, especially as it gets bigger and bigger. I mean, who knows, for some of you, these habits that you're creating to build a skill could end up being like your career. Um, I don't know, for, you know, there's some people are learning coding. Some people are learning, um, you know, things that are our whole careers. I'm learning Spanish. I might be a translator. I don't know. Okay, did I get everything? I think I did. All right, that's all I have for habit hack number 51, mind the fascia, mind your fascia. Okay, so what am I giving away today? Today I went to Whole Foods and there was only one thing that I needed. Can you guess what it is? It's the same thing I needed at Trader Joe's, but I didn't get. So, smooth move tea. Okay, I got it. I got it, I'm safe. Now, this is what he came up like, oh, is this it? Does that look like smooth move? No, that's ginger tea. And I'm not even a big fan of ginger tea. Now, it is missing one because I wanted to try it just to see if it was a good digestive aid. And um, it's not bad if you like ginger, but I'm not a big ginger fan. So this is what you get today because I don't want to keep anything in my house that I'm not going to use. This is what you get. I don't even think you need to join the project to get this. You can just call me if you want it. All right, that's all I have. Oh my gosh, and I'm almost out of time. Are you kidding me? I thought that was gonna be a super fast one. All right, you guys, thank you so much. May 11th, habit hack number 51. Done, 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 done. Have a great night.